Hello music community. How is everyone doing out there? I hope you're had or having a good weekend. I have had a very nice weekend. Um, just share a few things like I participated in the uh, auction that was yesterday. Um, hosted by Rob the Waxed and uh, picked up some jazz records. Um, went grocery shopping this morning with my girls at Walmart and that's always a lot of fun. And I'm getting spoiled by Amazon. And I'll say why this deliveries on Sundays. This is the fourth one. They've come through delivery has happened. So I'm going to do an unboxing. I already got a practically open anyway, but you know, just to speed up the little bit of process. What I'm going to be unboxing is an album by an American garage rock band from Baltimore, Maryland, I believe. Now I found out about this record. It wasn't on my own. It was through Vinyl Richie. He showed this record and uh, talked about it and shared the contents. And I got curious. So I went out there. There were some copy copies uh, still available. And I ordered one. And of course, you know, they tell you this, that it's going to be delivered sometime in this coming week but then I get a message late last night as I was watching horror movies with my sweetheart that um, hey got an update shipping of uh, delivery Sunday so let's get to it okay and so far I have no problems with the way uh, the records are shipped get here pretty get here in good condition so hopefully that'll continue all righty let's see the goods all right so here's the album folks see if I can get some of the glare out of it it's still got the sh shrink wrap the sons of Adam the complete recordings from 64 to 66 killer record I love this record I'm not sure but I if um, but I'm not sure what I'm not sure about it let me get to it if they are the ones who wrote or came up with the song you're a better man than I because I was so used for years of hearing it by well the only other version I've heard is Yardbirds I love the Yardbirds. And I've listened to a few of the other tunes too as I was waiting for it to come out. This is a killer record. It is worth it. You get it's all complete. I recommend it. And I'm sure everyone who wa watch uh, Vinyl Richie's video, he recommends it. From Malibu Beach to the Avalon Ballroom. Garage Gods, the Sons of Adams, blew away the competition in the mid-60s, California. But somehow never, uh, never harnessed their live sound to vinyl. I'm sorry, folks, I skipped a word because I didn't, didn't want to say it wrong. But yeah and they do everybody needs somebody to love which like vinyl richie said it which seems to be a lot of bands from the 60s have done a version of that song the one that i've always heard and i still love is the version the rolling stones do i believe what's on the album rolling stones now but if you like garage rock band which i've been kind of getting into a lot of these bands over the last few years then you want to pick this up if you can because I know when I went out and put my order in it, order for it, excuse me, not in it, that um, it was down to seven copies and I don't know what it is now. I didn't check before I did this video. Um, but yeah, can get really spoiled about deliveries on Sundays. But let me show you the inside. Really cool. 
some of these uh, record labels that they've released 45s on. Really, really, really nice inner um, gatefold. And yes, comes with this really cool book. Now, I'm not going to show every page. But the Sons of Adam. Now, you know, I don't have the CD in front of me, but there's another band that's kind of like garage band sounding. And I'll leave a link to, I'll leave two links to hear one of the, one of their songs and this band that I'm, I'm mentioning here. Um, Apple, Apple a Day, which was an album that I don't know why it's under Prague, but you know, um, and I apologize for not having a CD, but I, I thought of that band when I was listening to their music because they have like this garage band sound. Um, I won't say psych, but it's really straightforward rock and roll. They sound like the who at times, but Apple of the day, I will leave a link to one of their songs and I missed the boat on getting the reissue on vinyl, but I had, I got it on CD a couple of years ago on my birthday. Another good gem if you like that kind of this kind of music. And I just like I said over the last few years, I'm starting to get into these uh, Garage Band records and comps, and they're a little bit pricey. But then once you have it and you're listening, and you enjoy it. It's like really, really worth it. So. There it is, folks. Sons of Adam. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon.